Ciao! Welcome back to Healthy Nasty Kitchen TV. Today's video, it's all about this, about the sourdough sandwich loaf. Pre-ferment, 20 grams, 35, 40, 30, 40 grams of sourdough culture. And now, I'm gonna put some water, 120 grams, 135, 140. And I'm gonna use, and now we're gonna put 100 grams of wholemeal flour. And we check the texture of it. Perfect. And now we mix. You see? Perfect texture. If I were to put more, because this one is wholemeal, it would be much thicker and it wouldn't be good. Here we go. Perfect texture. That's how I want it. And now we let it ferment for two, three hours, until it shows some, shows some sign of fermentation. And then we do the mix. Here we are making a sandwich loaf, finally. We start with water, 750 grams of water. And then, instead of putting milk, I'm gonna put 50 grams of milk powder. And because we need to retain some moisture into the bread, that's the beauty of, of a sandwich loaf, we will need some integration, like sugar. In this case, I'm gonna put 20 grams of icing sugar, so it will dissolve faster. Here we go. I'm gonna put the salt straight away, 25 grams. Now we go with 200 grams of sourdough culture, whole meal that we made the pre-ferment yesterday to make sure that it's not too acidic for the children. All of it. Here we go. Just move it around. Now we put 900 grams of flour and we mix. Whisk it nicely like that. So as you can see, it's a very wet dough. And now we put some olive oil. And we do some stretch and fold like that. Just letting the oil sink down. And now we clean the bowl. So the dough is proven and uh, now it's time to put it into the bread tin, which is very important and we grease, we spray some oil in this one now and we shape the bread and put it in there because you don't wanna make it bulk ferment outside of the tin, otherwise the crumb will be too open. If you're thinking to spread some sauces on it, if you want to put some filling and cheese, you don't want the cheese to fall through. So if you want a dense crumb, what you need to do, you need to put this one in there to bulk ferment straight away. And then when it reaches the lid, we can bake. And you can decide to bake it with the lid on, like in this case. And there of course will give you a square shape, or you can just leave it out, make it do a score on top of it and they will help you to have a sandwich loaf a bit bigger and the sky is the limit you decide what to do as you can see the dough is ready it's nice and stretchy there's a beautiful flavor beautiful texture and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put it out of the bowl and start shaping it for my sandwich loaf clean the side like that beautiful gluten structure as usual You can see it's, it's got a very beautiful structure. And of course you know that I like to leave my dough onto the bench for 10 minutes so it dries a bit and it's easier to work with it. The first thing to do is to spray the tin generously. You can use butter, you can use oil, you can use spray oil. And then we spray the lid. And then we portion this one into 800 grams. And that's 800. But let's go to the sandwich loaf. What are we gonna do now? What I like to do is to shape it 
and now we put it in here. There we go, and that's done. So as you can see, after two hours, the dough is reached up to a half. We want it to reach this level. So we're gonna prove it. We're gonna let it prove a bit longer now. So while the dough is proving before we put it into the tin, I wanna tell you two things. The first one is that if you like this channel and you're loving the content that I'm producing for you, please consider subscribing because that will help me a lot. And if you haven't liked it yet, please do that as well. It's free, you can do it, it's free. And the second one is the sugar and salt actually help us keep the bread more moist in this case. Of course, it enhances the flavor. Our taste buds are going crazy because of the beautiful sweetness and savoriness at the same time. But the most important thing that they produce, it's keeping the moisture into the bread. Let's go back to the dough. Here we go, the bread is proven, as you can see. It's reached the level that we want. It's nice and fluffy. And we can put this one in the oven now. I'm gonna bake it at 225 degrees for about 25 minutes, 35 minutes. I'm gonna remove the lid after the first bake to see how much more time it will need. So the bread is ready. And now we're baking. Now we remove the lid. Beautiful. Make sure that once the bread is ready, you take it out of the tin straight away. Otherwise, it will sink on the sides. Beautiful sandwich loaf. See you next time guys, thank you for watching and don't forget to smash that like button, ciao! Beautiful, that's a beautiful sandwich life.